This clip is brought to you by SaveWithConrad.com. Uh, Dawson Fields wants to know, Aaron, back when you were a drinker, what was your beer of choice? And did you prefer bottles, cans, or draft? Yeah, you know, different phases. Uh, Love, I guess if you look at the stalwart, would have been a uh, Miller Lite in the bottle, ice cold, hard to beat. When we were in Japan, uh, we got a hold of some Asahi Dry. Silver can. Those were nice. When we were in Canada, the bots blue light, which were about 5.7% alcohol. We didn't know which would drink two beers. And I was off in the weeds driving through the wilds of Canada. <laughs> hey, we might want to switch drivers here on two beers. Those things would knock you on your ass. Uh, make a low ultra. Not a bad beer. Um, the funny thing, and I hate it, I really, to be honest with you, I hate it, is, is uh, one night I was, you know, sleeping and there was, you know, some personal things coming up. My, my youngest was going to college, fixing them leave for college, and, and some things going on in my life. And, and, you know, at that point, it was, you know, with WWE, I was having late night drives, and a lot of them, and some of them, alone and I was just in the bed I just for a beer drinker they'll tell you you know after you've had a hell of a sweat it doesn't matter if you've been hiking or bicycling or wrestling or weightlifting or anything where you've had good deep sweat exercise is not much it's better than cold ice water and a cold beer would you agree Conrad oh yeah and so uh, I just, you know, asked the good Lord. I just went, you know, I got rock going off to college and all those things. And I know that I've overdrank a lot of times when I shouldn't have. And I just, Lord, I just wish you would take away the craving. Because I was craving them after a swear. That's the only word I can say is I don't want a soda. I didn't want an iced tea. I didn't want any a protein drink or any of those things. I wanted either a ice cold water if I, you know, was working that day or a cold beer if I wasn't. And uh, crazy enough, in a couple of days, I woke up, I didn't have that craving for the beer anymore. And uh, that's the only explanation it was. It was a gift from God and made it easy. Uh, so when I rolled out of the... Uh, arena at 1130 at night and had a 300 mile job. I didn't have that issue of, man, I should, I really want six beers, you know, or eight beers you know, on this drive, which was the wrong thing to do and dangerous. So quit drinking, but I sure do miss them from time to time. And once you've lost that taste for, for a cold beer, I don't think you get it back. Yeah. It's, it's not quite the same. I do wonder from a social standpoint, did you still find yourselves in, in moments or times where in a social setting you would enjoy a beer or did you just say, no, nah, man, I, th- I don't think I want one at all anymore. Yeah. If there was no drive and, and, and occasionally the situation was that, but you know what? I think I, uh, it wasn't the beer that I would have to just get me through the moment. If I'm, if you're sitting around with a lot of people drinking and you're not drinking, that's not fun. It's weird. Yeah. I figured it out. I did not enjoy that environment. Yeah. But you know, I could have like a, uh, you know, a still drink an occasional double story sea breeze and maybe have two and that'd be the extent of it. And whatever I was doing, I just cut it off. If I was driving, I was done with it. Or if I was, you know, at the hotel bar, having a couple of drinks, just, you know, with the guys for the camaraderie's sake. But I never really went back to the beer. Uh, who knows? May have a craving sometime. And if I do, I'll have one. Yeah. I just know in a social setting, it's probably hard after a show, you know, if the hotel bar is full of all your coworkers and friends and you used to be right in the center of them, yucking it up. And now all of a sudden you're not that can be addictive. So you want to go hang out with your friends and, and fellowship, I like to say, but it is weird if everybody there is drinking a beer and and you've got a water 
that's a change of pace. So I'm glad to hear occasionally you're still, uh, able to do what you used to enjoy doing. Yep. Just Scott wants to know, does Arn like his wings with Buffalo sauce or dry rub seasoning? Dry. Hmm. Dry with ranch on the side. Maybe a little lemon pepper occasionally. I don't do the sauce. This is a one we've never talked about before, but I'm sure you have an opinion. Shane wants to know, you've let us know how you feel about boneless KFC, but how do you really feel about European bus drivers, not putting ice on adult beverages and serving them warm AF? We haven't talked about that, but that did catch me off guard. Uh, my first time over in the UK ice is not really a big deal over there, but it is a staple of almost every drink that you enjoy here in America. Was that a, a challenge after a show like that to, uh, have to drink some warm stuff? Well, let me just tell you this. <clears throat> it's a big deal to me. And it's a big deal to American athletes. And I would suggest they like their water cold after an athletic event. If they're going to eat, they probably like their soft drinks cold. And if they're going to drink beer, they damn sure want it cold. And so after about the first time of, and sometimes this would, on our tours, this would fall under the uh, responsibility of either the van, uh, bus drivers, it would be their responsibility to get the coolers filled up with the proper blend of uh, wine and beer and soft drinks and water so that everybody had the proper amount of what they needed. Everybody didn't drink. You know, some of the ladies would drink wine. You know, you had to figure out that split. Uh, and sometimes it was the catering people at the arena. But after coming out and seeing three loaded coolers with all the things we needed, one for water, one soft drinks, one beer and wine, and seeing six cubes of ice sitting on top of each one, you could imagine we had to come to Jesus meeting with whoever was responsible. And uh, we found out pretty quickly. I made the adjustments. One time we actually just had to stop at a store and go in and buy some ice, which they thought, like you said, Conrad, they thought that it wasn't that big a deal. If they brought it out cold, they thought it, Let's just say after intermission, if they had cold beer been sitting in the refrigerator, they figured if they put it in the cooler, it'd still be cold, you know, another hour and a half to two hours later. And then you got a four hour drive on the bus. Not not the situation. It needs to be overflowing with ice. And I, after a couple of meetings with, with the prospective people and letting them know how important that was. We got that fixed and uh, moved on. Hey, hey, it's Conrad Thompson. Thanks for checking out the podcast here on YouTube. Be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so you get a notice anytime we upload some new content. And go save yourself some money right now. If you're in a 30 year loan or you have credit card debt, it's not a matter of if I can save you money, it's a matter of how much. Find out right now for free at savewithconrad.com.